Are any of you using these Garmin Rhino Series GPSs? Uh, we started using these years ago primarily because of the fact that they have a two-way radio and you're able to track and find other riders. We found it was really difficult though to put the thing in your pocket. You'd have to take it out, center yourself again, find out where, which direction to go and put it back in your pocket. So referring to your pocket all the time was difficult to do. So we uh, came up with a, uh, a little cradle, cradle mount. Both uh, We've got one for the 100 series and one for the 500 series Rhino Garmin. Garmin Rhino series uh, GPS's. Uh, they come with uh, a couple rubber, uh, rubber grommets that hold it off the dash. So what you're going to do is put two holes through the dash, screws through the grommets, nut it on the back side, mounts on there and it gives a little protection as far as uh, vibration. Uh, the GPS then snaps into the mount. I like to use my uh, tether like that. I'll slip the tether through the bottom of the mount just in case it should come out and then it goes in and snaps right into the mount like that. Setting right on my dash where I can look right down at it as I'm standing on the sled. Now what I like to do is, is use the, the big compass screen when I'm tracking somebody I'm trying to find my way through the trees. Uh, that compass has a big arrow on it and it's going to point me whichever direction I should be going. So as I'm tracking through the terrain the trees I just look down at that uh, screen on the, the GPS and I can guide my way through that. I don't have to get in my pocket put it back in my pocket and do that over and over again. I can refer to it just by looking down at it. So it uh, solves the problem. It uh, makes that GPS a lot easier to use and, uh, and uh, just the job done for you.